One of the most important tools you'll ever use to work efficiently inside of Maya has to be the Maya Hotbox. The Hotbox is a hidden menu inside of Maya that gives you access to pretty much every menu item and tool that Maya has available. So instead of using this huge menu here and this interface that has so many buttons and so many different um, areas to work with and elements, you can use the Hotbox to quickly use whatever tool you need to fast and easy. So where is this hotbox? Well the hotbox is activated by holding down the spacebar on the keyboard. So let's hold down the spacebar and here's the hotbox. Okay? We have all the different menu items that are normally available inside of the regular Maya interface. So for example, the file menu here, the edit menu, modify, create, display, window, as well as all of these other menus that can be chosen depending on the menu set you choose, animation, polygons, surfaces, dynamics, rendering, so on and so forth. All of those menu sets can actually be chosen and used inside of the hotbox. So how does this work? Well, let's hold down the spacebar to open up the hotbox. That's the most important thing. When you let go of the spacebar, the hotbox goes away. As long as you hold it down, the hotbox stays. Now the hotbox has some hidden menus around it. So for example, if we use either the right mouse button or the left mouse button, doesn't matter which one, and we hold them down on the right of the hotbox, you'll open up this marking menu with a few different options. We can open up or we can change or hide the helpline here, the time slider. So if we want to go ahead and hide the time slider, I can go ahead and click on time slider or let go of the mouse on top of the time slider button there and the time slider disappears from the interface. If I want to, I can go ahead and bring the time slider back or I can hide it. I can basically do whatever I want. I can hide the shelf, the command line, anything I want. If I go ahead and open up the marking menu on the left side of the hotbox, I get a different menu set. I get a menu set here for masking different objects. I can mask rendering objects, polygon objects, deformations and animations, things like that. If I go ahead and use the marking menu above the hotbox, I get a different menu set. This menu set allows me to change my actual viewport. So I can use a single perspective viewport or I can open up a layout where I have two views, a perspective viewport and an outliner, or a hypershade and a perspective, and so on and so forth. If I go ahead and open up a marking menu below the hotbox, I get a different set of menu items here. For example, I can open up the outliner, and you can see now the viewport switches to the outliner. I can go back and switch to, say, a render view or the hypershade, for example, if I want to work with the hypershade for a moment. You can see I can use the hypershade now in my viewport, and so on and so forth. So I'll just go back to the top here and switch to single perspective, and I'm back to my perspective view. And you can also open up a marking menu right in the center of the hotbox where you see this Maya icon right here, and you get yourself a different menu set. So you can switch quickly to the top view, the side view, the perspective view, or the front view, instead of having to go ahead and, for example, hit spacebar here, or switch back to your four viewport layout by clicking over here on this icon and then having to switch to one of these viewports and hitting the space bar which can be a longer process not too long but a little bit longer now if I have a look at the hotbox here down here I have my menu sets uh, for my different types of operations and tools that I need for example this first menu up here as you can see has the mesh edit mesh normals create UVs menu sets that's the same menu set as when you change to the polygon menu set up here in the main interface and you have the edit mesh and the mesh and the normals and create UVs options up here or menus you can actually access those same menus from here as you can see right here I also have active my NURBS set right here my NURBS menu set as well as my uh, end dynamics menu set down here but you notice that my rendering menu set and my animation set are missing so how can I go ahead and hide and unhide specific menu sets? Well, it's actually very easy. If I go here to this icon here, or this section here that says Hotbox Controls, I can just left click uh, with my mouse, and I can see here that I can choose from this uh, marking menu different options here. So if I want to show my rendering menu, you notice there's a button here that says uh, Show Rendering to the left. I'll choose it. It'll open up a new marking set. You notice that I have this Show Hide Rendering button here and there's a little check mark, uh, check mark box there. If I go ahead and let go of my mouse on top of that, you notice that now the rendering menu set appears. And it's the same rendering set uh, menu set that I can go and select here. So if I go to rendering menu set here, 
you see I have light and shading, texturing, render, tune, paint effects. I can actually open up the hotbox and there it is. Lighting and shading, texturing, render, tune, paint effects, and fur. It's all right there for me to work with. If I click on one of those menu items, I open up the menu pertaining to that specific uh, item. Same thing as if I go here and I go to render, see these menu items, render current frame, redo previous render, etc., etc. If I go to the hotbox and I go to the render button here, I can see that by left clicking and holding down the left mouse button, I can open up the menu for that. And it's the identical menu from above. The render current frame buttons here, the redo previous render button he is here, all of the buttons are here. So I strongly recommend working with the hotbox as opposed to working with the main menu set, which you could, but again, working with the hotbox is just so much faster and so much more flexible and robust. It just allows you to work with Maya much faster, more productive than uh, than any other way, really. So there you go. There's a hotbox for uh, Maya. Take advantage of it and use it while working on your productions to work a little bit faster and more efficient.